three lead. For a lot of players, that's going to be a really tough shot. But again, he's left-handed, so that was right into his wheelhouse. And the Bobcats throw that one away as Brown tried to curl the pass around to Vanderplas, and it's out of bounds. It'll belong to Miami as Tommy Schmuck, senior out of Cleveland, Ohio, will come into the Bobcat lineup, and Brown will head to the sideline. Yeah, this is a guy who can really shoot it. He's a transfer out of Findlay, and uh, Miami has to know where he is at all times around the perimeter. He is one of the better three-point shooters on this uh, Ohio team. Isaiah Coleman lands into the game for Miami. He has the ball out front. Larry went to the sideline. Day-Day Grant, right wing, guarded by Carter. Down low, right side. Delonte Brown against the smaller schmuck. Throws it left side, and Vanderplas takes a pass away. Like it was thrown to him. Sears lobs it ahead to Carter. Easy deuce for the Bobcats. And that's what, exactly what we talked about in the pregame. Miami turning it over at one end, something they don't do very often. And Ohio transitioning with it in an easy basket. They get it down the floor in a hurry. Great execution. Isaiah Coleman lands. Straight away look at a three off the glass. No good. Vanderplas with a rebound. Ahead it goes to Sears in a hurry down the left side. Leaves it for Carter. He'll fire the three and parry it. Back-to-back -back buckets by Jason Carter, and it's an 8-4 lead for Ohio. Yeah, and Carter's an interesting case. He actually was at Ohio, left to go to Xavier, and then has come, transferred back to become a Bobcat for a second time. Second leading scorer with 14 and a half points a game for Jeff Bowles. Aya picks up the dribble, needs some help, and Day Day Grant comes to bail him out with 14 to shoot. Puts it on the floor, goes down, gets it to, to Isaiah Coleman, lands. Now to MyJ White, 7 to shoot. He backs it out on the wing. Carter, the taller player, on him and stolen away. Too much dribble, and Roderick, coast to coast, step through with a lay-in. Then Roderick with the with the lay-in, and it is a 7-0 run by the Bobcats. And Miami calls the timeout to a new home. As Isaiah Coleman lands, brings the ball down five and a, five minutes and five seconds into this first half. Monte Brown gets it to Isaiah Coleman lands guarded by Schmock day day grant out top between the circles They hedge on him and nearly a steal Delonte Brown comes up with it gives it to my J white with 10 to shoot My J white lost the handle on it a little slippery with the basketball seven to shoot as Delonte Brown goes to work steps back fires the three off the iron No good and the rebound to Roderick. Yeah, this lead is really Totally in control because of Ohio's defense. That's leading everything right now. Miami not getting any shots. They can't even control the basketball. Vanderplas tried to throw it into Carter. Now Carter gets it in the wing off from Roderick. Roderick, Carter that is going to work on MyJ White, and that's going to be a foul call against Miami's MyJ White. White gets his first in the team's second of the half. Yeah, good good patience that time by Carter and then finally he decided to spin around him and drew the reach in there by Maje White. Kai Leary back into the game for Miami replacing Maje White. Sears will inbound the basketball for the Bobcats. Gets it in left wing to Carter. Now comes back gets the basketball right there to Sears. Leary on him. They go down low to Carter against McNamara. Double team comes out top. Schmock is left alone. Off the mark with the three. Rebound. Hop back out to Schmock. Schmock will go to the left elbow. Gets it out to Carter with two to shoot. And at the buzzer, fires an air ball. And that will be a shot clock violation by the Bobcats. Yeah, better defense that time by Miami. And they were able to force Ohio into two very tough shots. Sam Towns into the game for the Bobcats along with A.J. Clayton. Towns, a 6'9 sophomore out of Columbus. Clayton, a 6'8", 225-pound freshman from Duncan Falls, Ohio. Yeah, really interested to see Clayton play. He has started the season very well as a first-year player. Although Clayton looks more like the 6'9 rather than Towns. Kai Larry working to the right side with the basketball. Out front to Coleman Lands. 13 and a half minutes to go here in the half. Luca Eller out front is fouled by Clayton. His first, team's first. Yeah, that time Clayton was just up a little bit too forced, too close to Eller. And as soon as Eller started to drive around him, he forced the contact and the reach in. Yeah, Eller is sophomore out of Mentor, Ohio. Into the game for the first time for Miami. And driving is Mikai Larry. Pull up jumper. Good. Mikai Larry has four of Miami's six. And that's what Miami needs to look to do a little bit more is find some driving lanes. Be able to get into the middle of that Bobcat defense and get some uh, mid-range jumpers. Right side. Clayton at the wing. Out front to Schmock. Into the paint. Vanderklaas 
at, at the free throw line, turns, fires, and scores. First bucket for Ben Van, Van, Van Vanderplas, excuse me. And, and he is such a tough person to guard because he can do so many things at all three levels. He's a really tough person to guard, and Miami's struggling with it already. Eli McNamara working on Vanderplas with the left hand, too strong with the hook and the rebound. Sears taps it out to himself. The Euro step draws the foul against Makai Larry, his first and the team's third. Yeah, again, Sears just got it too far into the lane. Nobody cut him off. And there he goes, steps through two defenders. It was the reach in by Larry that draws the foul. Sears averaging 19 and a half points a game, 92% from the free throw line, one of the best in the back. 43% from outside the arc and five rebounds a game. Complete player is Mark Sears. He's got four. With that free throw, the other one coming up. The lefty fires and gets it. And he, he doesn't take a break on the defensive end either. No, no. That's what you love about a player like this. Has ultimate energy and really gives it all on both ends of the floor. Already five points, two rebounds, two assists for Sears. 12.37 to go here in the first half. Day Day Grant working on Schmack to the free throw line. The floater is off the mark. And the rebound to Clayton for Ohio. And here come the Bobcats in a hurry down the floor. Schmack feeds Vonderplast. And Vonderplast puts it up and splashes one from three. Vonderplast with five points now. And it is a 17-6 to six lead for the Bobcats already in double digits. And again, late rotation for Miami. Nobody got out there. He had all day to set up for that shot. Day Day Grant left elbow to Coleman Lands, backs it out at the wing. McNamara sets the screen, crosses back against the screen, and throws it right into the hands of Mark Sears. Down the floor quickly to Clayton, and he is going to try and dunk it, and a foul will be called. Eli McNamara will pick it up for Miami, his first team's fourth. Clayton tried for the highlight reel. Duncan came up short but drew the foul. And uh, the Bobcats will be at the free throw line when we come back. A new home and new projects go hand in hand. With the Home Depot app, you'll pick it up in no time. For Ohio. I, I know Preston likes playing against the Red Hawks. He oh, had a yes. triple-double triple in Athens in one of those games last year. Free throw is up and good. That's now a 15-2 run by the Bobcats. And the freshman from Duncan Falls, Ohio, looks to extend that but misses the free throw and the rebound out to Delonte Brown for Miami and Makai Larry brings it up as Miles Brown is back into the game for Ohio Sears getting just a brief rest here as Makai Larry spins around a double team try to get it down low that ball was kicked by Brown as Vanderplas came out on the hedge McNamara was breaking free to the basket but get Brown a lot of credit Defensively able to get a foot out there and kick it away and that play is a microcosm of what Ohio does so well on defense That hedge you mentioned and then able to re to recover and still have everybody covered Day Day Grant Out top left side Delonte Brown Brown loses the handle chases it down eight to shoot Larry puts it on the floor if he's right side Coleman lands deep three block underneath is caught by Day Day Grant and he puts it up and in for his fourth point. First points in a while for Miami, who trails by 10. Yeah, Miami got a bit of a break there. That original yeah. shot, as you mentioned, was blocked, but it fell right into the lap of Day-Day Grant, who hit the layup. Coming up on 11 minutes to go here in the first half. Schmack throws it down baseline left side to Vanderplus. Devontae Brown on him, back out to Schmack. He's going to drive all the way to the basket, tries to feed underneath, and a foul will be called, I think. And they're going to give the ball to Miami. So there was no foul. Not sure what the call was. Yeah, there was no foul apparently no, on either Schmack team. Went to the basket. That ball was just knocked away. Maybe an in, some yeah. kind of inadvertent whistle, I guess. So Miami had the basketball, and this is Isaiah Coleman Land's left side. Out top, Mikai Larry thought about the three, gives to Delonte Brown, who fakes, steps back, and now driving, feeding out top, and that's a walk on Delonte Brown. Turnover against the Red Hawks. Again, that pressure, that's their sixth turnover, and again, the pressure defense of Ohio is causing that. They are right all over the Red Hawks, not allowing them to, to drive, to dribble properly, or even get easy passes off. 10.35 to go. Bobcats out in front here in the first half. 18-8. Nine of their points. Half of their points are fast break points in this first half. Tell you how quickly the Bobcats are getting up and down the floor. Jason Carter back in. Gets to Clayton. His three is off the mark. Rebound tapped out. And over the back is Sam Towns. Whistled for the foul. His first. 
and that is the team's second. Yeah, good opportunity there. Good looking shot by the freshman. Just didn't fall. And there you see a good block out by Day Day Grant. He was he had him blocked out all the way to the free throw line, doing his job, and he gets the foul call over the top. Kyle Larry working on Brown gets a screen to the right side now to the right corner Isaiah Coleman lands feeds left side Delonte Brown nice head fake steps in from 18 misses and the rebound grabbed out of there by Towns for Ohio the big man will quickly bring it down nobody picks him up lost the handle still got it up off the glass and scores Sam Towns shows some athleticism as he gets to the basket and scores for the Bobcats yeah nobody for Miami stopped the basketball until it was inside the restricted zone there was nothing there that Brown could do the guy Larry pulls up with a jumper off the dribble no good Towns another rebound gets it out to Schmuck 939 to go here in the half around the screen Back to the left side. There's Carter wide open for a triple, and that is partially blocked. And that ball is off of Makai Larry and will stay for the Bobcats on that end. Precious Aya back up off the Miami bench coming in, and Kamari Williams will make his first appearance. Nice heads up play there by Towns. Got it off the foot of Makai Larry. Yeah, that's a tough one again. We've seen that on both ends now where an air ball is thrown up, and it makes it very difficult for the defense to come up with the rebound. They're not expecting it. Downs takes the inbounds as will work against Kamari Williams. Gives it out to Miles Brown. Nice crossover dribble to the basket off the glass and in. Strong move. He wanted the foul. Didn't get the whistle, but he takes it in for his first two. And the lead balloons to 14. Again, Miami got a break. It easily could have been an and one. But he was able to make the layup go down, and that extends the lead. Left side, Coleman lands. Nowhere to go as he got to the baseline. Gets it to Williams with 15 to shoot. Working on Brown, right side, Mikhail Larry. Larry will pull up for a triple, and it went down and came back out. Carter with the rebound for Ohio. Gets it out to Schmack, who runs it across the timeline in a hurry, looking for the opportunity. Lost his handle on the baseline. It's out of bounds. Off of Schmack, it will go to Miami. As back in is Sears, Ben Roderick, and Ben, ben, ben Vanderplas, as you see the rebound there. And that time, Larry got it off the foot of Schmack as it goes out of bounds. Yeah, great effort by Larry to get the tap away initially. And then as the ball was rolling out of bounds, he dove and was able to flick it off of the ankle or the foot of Schmack before it rolled out of bounds. And Miami gets possession back. So one of the few turnovers here early for the Bobcats. Coleman lands out top to Aya, left side to Larry. Eight and a half minutes to go here in the half. Back to Coleman lands, Kamari Williams. Right side with it, gives it back out to Coleman Lands. Works to the left side, steps back, three pointers on the way, and good for Coleman Lands. Isaiah Coleman Lands' first basket of the night cuts it down to an 11 point margin. Great shot by, by Isaiah Coleman Lands, but again, it was well contested. Just a little bit better offense that time for the Red Hawks. Mark Sears out front to the right side. Vanderplas fires the three and gets the answer. Vanderplas with eight first half points. 14 point lead again for the Bobcats. Another good thing that Ohio does, right? They answer it. You, they don't allow you to get any kind of momentum going. Delonte Brown left side it goes. Makai Larry leaves it for Delonte Brown and he gets fouled going to the basket. It'll be a blocking foul called against Ben Roderick for Ohio. His first team's third. Miami will be at the free throw line when we return. 7.45 to go in the first here. As you see, Vanderplas right side just burying the triple. Welcome to Sonic. May I take your order? Can I get two fatty milk? Melt the cheese. Or catch defense. I mean, they are not giving Miami any clean looks at the basket at all as the Red Hawk guards try and maneuver their way around and find some space. And with the length and the quickness of the Bobcats, there hasn't been any space out there. No, and I think what Delonte Brown did that last time drive inside is what they need to do is go right at the defense. This Bobcat team is not, they do a lot of things really well defensively. Blocking shots is not one of them. That's where Miami maybe could have have uh, their way is if they can get the ball right down on the block. 1-3-1 one, one zone here by Miami and Sears penetrates feeds to the corner to Roderick. He fakes back to Sears. Sears with puts it on the floor as Delonte Brown picks him up. Steps to the free throw line to Vanderplas to the left corner. This is Miles Brown and the three rims out on him. That was down below the iron and came back out. 
And again, he had all day to set up to shoot that shot. Just couldn't quite get it down, but a good job defensively with the rebound by Miami to pull it out of there. No second chance opportunity. Makai Larry with the bigger Vanderplas on him, steps back and dribbles a three. Makai Larry now with seven points in the game, and it's back to single digits at nine. The lead for Ohio. That's the other thing Miami can do. If they can get some open shots for both Larry and Isaiah Coleman lands, they can hit the three pointers consistently. Sears all the way to the basket, hits Roderick on the right wing. His three, and every time Miami has made one, Ohio has had the answer. This time it's Ben Roderick, his fifth point. Again, they do not allow you to get any momentum offensively or make you feel good about what you're doing. Larry feeds the left side. Kamari Williams with a basket. Check that. Isaiah Coleman lands with a basketball. He gets it down low to Precious Aya. Baseline left side. Vanderplas on him. To the left corner. Larry for three. Off the mark. Tap up and good by Kamari Williams. And we've, we've seen Williams do that a couple times this year. Very athletic. Springs in those legs. Gets way up to get the tip. Six minutes to go in the half. 10-point advantage for the Bobcats. Out front, deep water three by Vanderplas. Nothing but net. 11 in the game for Ben Vanderplas. 31-18, Ohio. You get the feel that this is like a game of horse between these two teams right now. You get a deep three by Larry, and then Vanderplas answers at the other end. And Delonte Brown nearly walked with the ball. Gets it off to Mikai Larry. Back to Brown. Left corner. He'll fire and get a three. First field goal of the game for Delonte Brown. 10-point ball game. Sears down the floor quickly for the Bobcats, driving into the lane. Stop shot rejected by Aya, right into the hands of Isaiah Coleman Lance. Easiest. I mean, he's got 22 block shots on the year. That's the easiest one. That's he's the had. easiest one. He just took it right out of Sears' hands. Coleman lands to Delonte Brown. He checks shot, and it's short off the iron into the arms of Jason Carter. 5.05 to go here in the first half. Sears on the run the other way. Around the screen, step back three, and this is off the mark. Aya with the rebound for the Red Hawks. And that's kind of the, the bad thing about you get a couple of three-pointers to fall for both teams, then you start to get three happy, and you get out of the, the uh, motion of your regular offense. Kyle Larry against Mark Sears. Carter comes and picks him up on a switch to Isaiah Coleman lands with 14 to shoot. Coleman lands behind the back dribble around the screen to the top of the key with eight to shoot lost the dribble and that'll be a reach and actually a timeout called by Miami as Isaiah Coleman lands took a finger to the eye there as the defender reached around him 30 second timeout by Isaiah Coleman lands uh, and Miami will have the ball out of bounds with six seconds to shoot yeah I think Coleman lands is upset that there was no foul called when he got kind of poked in the eye there on the reach around and uh, I think he needed a field. Day Day Grant back into the game for Miami for Isaiah Coleman lands as Precious Aya hands him the basketball out top. Working around all the way to the basket. Underneath it goes, and Miami got the basket off, but the rebound by Curtis Harrison, the fourth who came in during that timeout, puts it back up and in. Jeff Bowles wanted the 22nd or 32nd count. It was very, very close. Yeah, I think the original tip hit the bottom of the rim, and that's what reset the shot clock. Vander Plaus, another triple. He's got 14. Yeah, it doesn't matter where he is on the floor, left, right, three feet behind the line, on the line. He is so comfortable with that jump he shot. He is absolutely feeling it right now. He has been deadly from outside the arc all season long. 34% of steal by Sears. Takes it the length of the floor and lays it in. Mark Sears now with seven. And the lead back to 13 for Ohio with 3.45 to go in the half. I think right now the, the game can be summed up this way. Miami no assists and eight or now seven turnovers. Kyle Larry to Precious Aya. Back to Larry with Jason Carter on him. He drives past him to the basket. Puts it high off the glass. No good. And Vanderplas gets the rebound. Gets it to Sears. Down the floor quickly. Nobody stops him. Feeds to the corner. There is Miles Brown for the triple. It's good. That has been the way the game has gone for Miami. Bobcats absolutely ripping the nets. 39-23, 16-point lead, their largest. Yeah, they're shooting it well from outside the arc, or they're getting easy layups in transition. Kamari Williams tries to get an easy basket, and that will be a blocking foul. As Kamari Williams went down very hard with Ben Roderick in front of him. Roderick will get the foul, his second and the team's fourth. And Kamari Williams gets up, he'll head to the huddle and will be at the free throw line when we come back. 
3.03 to go here in the first half. Ben Vanderplas, 14 points in the game for the Ohio University Bobcats has been absolutely thrilling it. And Mark Sears on the other way, he gets to the basket. So at at and everyone gets our best deals. Aren't others doing that? Others say that, but not everyone gets the best deal. Like, what if I give you a lollipop? Free throw line, 6'7", sophomore from Sandy Springs, Maryland. Puts it up, and yeah, he's got three in the game. Yeah, and again, I like I like his aggressiveness that last time. He didn't get the best basket, but he drove it hard to a player who was in the restricted zone, made the official may have to make the call there, and uh, you want to see more of that from Miami to get the ball inside as much as they can. He makes them both, and it's a 14-point lead for the Bobcats with three minutes to go here in the half. Mark Sears brings the ball up the floor on Mikhail Larry. Maybe the slowest pace up the floor for the Bobcats the entire game as Sears works to the baseline. It's cut off there. Now goes back to work against Mikhail Larry. He's going to turn with the left hand, miss it. Rebound tapped out and into the hands of Sears. Vanderplas kept it alive. Fakes the three. Now feeds to the corner to Mark Sears. He behind the back gets into the paint. Feeds out to Schmock. Left corner. Carter three is off the mark. But Towns is there for the rebound. Out to Vanderplas. Tees up the tray. It's off the mark. Rebound Kamari Williams. Skies for that board. Yeah, three opportunities that time for Ohio. Something Miami's got to do a little bit better on is getting those offensive re or defensive rebounds. Day Day Grant down low but to McNamara. Backing in on Vanderplas. Turning with the left hand. The jumper is good for Eli McNamara. His first two points of the game. Back to within 12 are the Red Hawks. And that's where Miami's been effective uh, more consistently as they get the ball on the block against some of those defenders. Towns goes down low, baseline, left side. Vanderplas is going to back in on McNamara. Feeds out top to Sears. Back down low to Vanderplas. 10 to shoot. Gets the ball down. Jump hook is good. 16 first half points for Ben Vanderplas. 41-27 Ohio. Yeah, we saw McNamara do it at one end. Vanderplas at the other end. Same thing. You back your man down inside the block. And then a little bit of a hook shot. Kamari Williams picks up the dribble, gets it to McNamara, right side, outside the arc. He puts it on the floor, has the ball knocked away and stolen away. Vanderplas comes out of it, gets it to Sears, feeds underneath the Towns, off the glass too strong, got his own rebound, and got leveled by Curtis Harrison the fourth as they both collided trying to get to the basketball. Harrison gets his first team spit. And the Bobcats will get the ball. And again, you see him rushing up the floor to try and get the easy basket. Missed the first layup, but again, got his offensive board. That's four second-chance opportunities in the last two possessions for Ohio. Just too easy to get the offensive rebounds. Harrison goes out as Delonte Brown is back into the game for Miami. A minute 17 to go in the half. Inbound to Towns in the left corner. Gets it to Vanderplas on the baseline there with 15 to shoot. Going to back it in again. Now gives it out to Sears, reestablishes, get the ball back to Vanderplas, spins to the baseline, fakes, fires with the right hand. The jump hook is good. 18 for Vanderplas, 43-27, 15 point, 16 point advantage yeah, again. And we see Vanderplas hit the three pointer, but that time he knew he had a strength advantage down low, so he took McNamara down to the Sears block. Sears with a steal, and now Dede Grant goes down to the floor. Vanderplas wide open as they get it to him again. 20 first half points for Ben Vanderplas, and the lead is 18 for the Bobcats. And again, easy transition bucket. Miami hustled back, Day Day Grant did, but he was the only one, so there was nobody to take the two wide open Bobcats. Bobcats with 21 seconds to go, about a four second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Miami nine turnovers in the first half, and Bobcats have taken advantage of every one. Eight to shoot. Out top, Mikhail Larry will fire the three. It is off the mark. Rebound into the hands of the Bobcats. And Mark Sears with three seconds to go. He's going to turn, fire from 19. Doesn't get it. But what a half of basketball for the Ohio Bobcats. Ben Vanderplas is uh, well within range to shatter that record tonight. Bobcats with a basketball to begin the second half as we're underway. Mark Sears guarded by Mikhail Larry. Takes it off to Brown. Down low, Vanderplas. Miami doesn't come with the double, and Vanderplas going to work on Precious Aya. Backing in, lowering, going to the left hand, and a foul called against Precious Aya, and Jack Owens doesn't like the call at all. Precious Aya gets his second foul, and that's the team's first. You take a look at it here. Vanderplas coming back to his right. 
And the arms come down a bit, and that's what the official called. Vanderplas to the free throw line for the first time tonight, a 76% free throw shooter. Yeah, and what Vanderplas does well there is he knows how to manipulate his body to get into an advantage position for himself and put the defensive player on a disadvantage position. And even though it, I think in his mind Precious went straight up, he did lean into him a little bit. They're going to call that. Well, he is human. He misses a free throw, and it's a 19-point advantage for the Bobcats. Less than 30 seconds gone by here in the second half. Day Day Grant works to the right side, out top to Larry. Out of my Jay White on the left side. He brings it out top, feeds to Day Day Grant. Brown on him defensively, drives past Brown, leaves it for Aya. Reverse layup is good for Precious Aya. Yeah, we've talked about it a lot in the first half. You know, that dribble pe penetration, if you can get it in there, that's when you can break down this defense. And they were able to do a great job that time in Day Day Grant. Kind of a no-look pass that time from Grant to Aya. And uh, Roderick has to come get the basketball. Carter gets a Vanderplas screen to the right side. Against Aya, goes to work at the wing. Six to shoot, gives it to Sears. Sears to the baseline. His shot is up and good, and they get Aya for a foul. Precious Aya picks up his third foul in the team's second. The basket by Mark Sears is good. As you see Aya from behind trying to time it up. Yeah, and you can see Sears there as he moved the basketball in midair, which forced Aya to have to adjust his his block attempt, and that's where he got him then with the body on the head. 20-point lead is the largest of the game. 18.45 to go as Day Day Grant between the circles with it for the Red Hawks. He's going to just launch a three straight away. It's off the iron, no good, and... The rebound will bounce out of bounds and will belong to Ohio. Yeah, the difficult thing for Miami, they really had good intensity on that last defensive possession. They really forced a tough shot, but Sears was able, again, to get to the basket, and he forced Miami to have to foul him. Got it up off the glass and got it down. Vander Ploss, right side with it, hands it to Sears. They work around a Carter screen, left off the screen open, and he buries the triple. 13 now in the game for... Mark Sears, and the lead is 23. Delonte Brown, and a foul called on Mark Sears as they get the ball to Makai Leary. Sears picks up his first. That's the team first against the Bobcats here in the second half. Yeah, one of the few times that Ohio has been just a half a step slow, and that time on that kind of handoff at the top of the key, they were able to get the foul. Aya goes out as Eli McNamara is into the game for Miami. Jack Owens not wanting him to pick up that fourth foul. Delonte Brown works on Carter. Spins to the baseline. Throws it diagonally. Maje White with the fake. Now fires from 19 and gets the roll. Maje White gets his first two points of the basketball game. Good look from Delonte Brown to find him. And also great patience by Maje White to let the defense fly by. Foul out front on Makai Larry as he's trying to D it up on Sears. That's his second and the team's third. Now Sears and Mikhail Larry having a few words. As I think Larry was also having a conversation with, yeah, the, with the officiators. Official. Yep. Yeah, officiators not happy with that call and thought he was fouled at the other end as well. Out front, Carter with the basketball for the Bobcats. 13 to shoot. There's Sears with it on the floor around the screen, giving it off to Roderick. Out top, deep three by Vander Plus is off the mark. Carter the rebound. Yes, and one. Jason Carter gets his seventh point of the ball game, and the foul on Eli McNamara of Miami is his second, already the fourth team foul against Miami. And you see Carter just being active, outworking McNamara to get to that offensive rebound, and then uh, then he had him again in, in a defensive position where he was at a disadvantage, and Carter made him pay. Carter makes the free throw. He's got eight points in the game, and the lead is now out to 24. Kyle Larry, and that'll be a blocking foul on Vanderplas. Came out, took the ball away, but committed the foul as he was moving, and that's his first and the team's second. Yeah, again, but we talked about their hedge. That time, Larry continued his dribble into the hedge, and he forced Vanderplas into the foul uh, because he was moving. Delonte Brown works right side against Carter. 
Puts it on the floor, into the paint. Shot is up no good, but they get Carter for a foul. That'll be his first and the team's third. Fouled in the act of shooting. Delonte Brown to the line for two. Saw Brown do that a couple times in the first half. Again, he'd be aggressive going into the lane and forcing the foul. Didn't get the jumper, but he'll go to the line. Delonte, two for two from the line, has five points in the ball game. He was a big reason why Miami won at Western Michigan on Saturday, 70-62. Broncos battled back from double digits to cut it down to three, and late in the ball game, Brown hit a huge triple off the left side to extend the lead back out to six and secure a victory. And that's what seniors do, right? They rise to the occasion when they need to, and Brown is one of those, those leaders, really, not always a vocal leader, but he is a leader on the floor of this team. Makes the second one, makes it a 55-32 ball game. Sears a little slower on the pace here in this second half. Brings it across the timeline. Gives it to Carter, high on the left side. Back to Sears. Down low, Vanderplas against Delonte Brown. Cross-court pass, Roderick three is strong, and Delonte Brown pulls down the board and pushes it for Miami. At the right wing against Vanderplas, gives it off to Maje White. He's going to get into the paint. Turn, feeds it into Day Day Grant, who turns, fires, and misses, and the rebound is out to Sears. Now Sears on the run. He's going to cross over, spin into the paint. What a move as he puts it up and in and draws the foul on Larry, his third. Yeah, again, every single time he gets the basketball in transition, he pushes it and pushes it, forces the defense to have to make the play, and that time they couldn't. Well, again, Larry just a little bit late. Tried to get it in there and knock it away, but Larry had no chance at that one. You see him heading to the bench as Isaiah Coleman lands, comes into the game for the Bobcats. And Mark Sears, three or three from the line, 15 points. Gets that one to roll in, give him 16 in the game. And the Bobcats' largest lead of the game is 26 points. They have been deadly here in the second half. Mar Avans in the game now for Miami as well. Full court pressure here. Isaiah Coleman lands, has it turned over. It's loose on the floor and will have a jump ball. And that'll belong to Miami on the alternating possession. Yeah, again, just a little bit weak with the basketball was Miami. And they and again, Ohio jumped, jumped uh, Isaiah Coleman lands there right before he got to half court. And they force the turnover, and it turns into a jump ball. But again, it, even though Miami keeps the basketball, it acts like a turnover. And I'm not a 10-second sure. violation against Miami. They threw it into the backcourt and didn't, didn't get it across in time. Yeah, because the, the time carries over from the yeah. play previous. Sears around the screen to the left elbow. Gets underneath to Jason Carter, who lays it up and in. Easy pickings right there as Carter has 10, and the lead is 28. Yeah, not right now, Ohio's just having their way inside. They did a lot of, it, of damage from outside early in the game. Now they're having their way in, in the blocks area. McNamara out front with it. Picks up the dribble, now gets to the baseline. To Delonte Brown, lost the handle out of bounds, and it'll belong to Ohio. Under 16 timeout, 15.58 to go, and it has been all Ohio here in the second half, outscoring Miami 15-5 to to take a 28-point advantage over the half percent for the Bobcats, 43% from three-point range. They're also 7-9 of nine from the free-throw line. And that stat you were talking about in the first half, 21-0 now in fast yeah. break point comparison. Mar Evans guarding Mark Sears, gets it to Miles Brown. Luca Eller also in the game now for Miami. Right corner Sears, Trey is off the mark. And Isaiah Coleman lands with a long rebound for Miami. Jack Owens trying to find some points out there on the floor. It's been hard, tough sledding tonight for the Red Hawk on the offensive end. Yeah, I'm really kind of dabbling with some different kinds of combinations. Precious Aya also back out there for Miami. Luca Eller will fire a three that is a uh, rocket that bounces off the glass, hits iron, and comes out to... Brown, Miles Brown working right side, crossover dribble to the basket, off the glass, no good, but Carter is there for the putback and the foul. Yeah, and that's multiple times we've seen that here in the second half where Jason Carter, being so active on the offensive boards, gets the rebound, the basket, and the foul. Went down hard on the shot and makes the shot. Eller will go out for Miami as Isaiah Coleman lands, picks up the foul. That is his first and the sixth team foul already for Miami here in the second half. Carter is one for one from the free throw line and can extend this and does to a 31-point lead. 
And again, full court press now by Ohio, trying to turn over the Miami guards if they can before they get to midcourt. Still 15 minutes to go in this basketball game, but the Bobcats have just not let off the pedal whatsoever in this game as they now have a 31-point advantage. Isaiah Coleman lands left side. It's around an Aya screen to the left corner. Dade Grant with Sears on him. Drives to the basket underneath Aya Bakes. Now gets his man airborne and draws the foul. Can't convert on the bucket, but he'll go to the line for two as the foul is on at number 30, Jason Carter. Yeah, that's the my, best Miami offense. Oh, check that. They get it on Ben Roderick. That's his third yep. and the team's fourth. Yeah, I was going to say that's the best Miami offense they've had here in the second half is that dump down to Precious Aya. He made the layup earlier. This one couldn't get it to go, but he did draw the foul. Aya makes the free throw as Sam Towns comes back into the lineup for Ohio, and Roderick heads to the bench with those three fouls. Second free throw by Aya on the way and good. He's got four in the game. And the Bobcats quickly across the timeline as Sears gets it by Avance for a moment. Now Vander Floss has to come out and get it and gets it to Carter. This is Sears on the left side, 14 and a half minutes to go. And Sears gives it to Vander Floss at the wing. Aya on him defensively. Backing up the big man who's got three fouls to the basket. Easy, easy basket there for Ben Vanderplas, his first of the second half. New career high for him, by the way, at 23 points, or actually a new season high, excuse me. Yeah, season high, just three off his career high of 26. 14.04 to go here in the ball game. Day Day Grant works to the left side. Keeps the dribble down the heart of the lane, puts it off the glass, and gets it to go down. J.D. Grant has six. Yeah, that time he just said, I'm going to take it no matter what and see what we can get in the lane. And Sears said the same thing, and this time he misses. Wanted to foul, didn't get it. J.D. Grant down the left side against Carter. Driving into the lane, throws it left side to Coleman Lands. Coleman Lands against Miles Brown, and he's going to get a foul. Miles Brown with a body got him his first and the team's fifth. Miami will have the basketball. Brown will head to the bench as Schmock is back into the game for the Bobcats. Also into the game comes A.J. Clayton as Carter will get a break. Beginning of some busy times for both of these teams as the makeups of postponed games previous in the season are just about ready to hit. Well, and, and Ohio had their last game actually yep. postponed. Uh, before this one. Mar Avance, top of the key, misses the three. Vanderplas with the rebound, holding off on Precious Eye to haul that one down, gets it out to Sears. Sears crossover dribble against Day Day Grant, and Day Day Grant draws the charge. Yeah, I think there was. I, some, I think he may have he may have earned the Oscar on that one. There was I some just, there was some contact, but he sold it. There's no question about it. <laughs> Absolutely sold it. There you see a little bit of a of a shoulder duck in, but uh, I think he was a little off balance, and that that forced that uh, to to. You got to get a call sometime, and yep. Hayday Grant got a call then. 12:58 to go as Grant works left side at the elbow, throws it to the right side to Avance. He'll fire from 19, is off the mark, and Vanderplas with another rebound for Ohio. It's his fifth of the ball game, and Sears all the way to the basket. And a foul will be called against Precious Eye. It looked like that Sears may have taken a couple of extra steps, but Precious Eye will get the foul, his fourth, team seventh. One, two, three, and yeah, then like, the foul. I think that first one, it looked like his, his left foot kind of hit behind his yeah. ankle and tripped him up a little bit. But then he took two more steps and uh, got away with it, though, and drew a foul, another foul on him. If the whistle doesn't blow. You keep going as Sears makes the free throw. Five of five from the line as Mar Avance leaves and Makai Larry is back into the game for Miami. Larry, the leading scorer for the Red Hawks so far this evening with seven points. And this one is no good as Dana Grant with the rebound for Miami. 30 point lead for the Bobcats with 12.40 to go. Dana Grant drives around. Clayton feeding underneath, tried to get it to Precious Aya, and it's last touch by the Bobcats. It'll stay with Miami as Kamari Williams will come into the game for Miami, replacing Precious Aya, who has that fourth foul. Yep, now Miami gets a lot smaller. 
Uh, a real perimeter-oriented team now on the on the floor for the Red Hawks. Delonte Brown gives it back to Makai Larry. Clayton on him defensively. Switching big men, and now deep three by Larry is no good, and Dede Grant is fouled by Tommy Schmock. Schmock gets his first, and that's the sixth team foul against Ohio. Check that, that's their seventh. How many times do you see that a long three-pointer leads to a long rebound, and that time Miami was able to get possession as Dede Grant was able to track it down and then force the contact from Schmock. Dede Grant shooting the one-and-one. One. His first chance at the charity stripe tonight, the junior from Lorraine on the season, 87%. Red Hawks has a team, 78%, and he puts it up and in. Both of these teams actually shoot free throws really well. Ohio just a tick better than Miami at 79% coming into play tonight. They're shooting it well tonight, 75% from the line for the Bobcats, 9 of 12. Miami 8 of 9 from the line now at 89%. It's one of the bright spots in the stats right now for the Miami Red Hawks as Grant makes them both. He has eight for the Red Hawks who trail now by 28. Sears against Kamari Williams. Feeds underneath. Clayton misses the dunk, but he is fouled by Delonte Brown. Yeah, but a good job that time by, by carving out some space. Clayton did underneath and was able to get that dunk attempt and, and a good find by Sears with the no-look pass. But again, it's all in the setup. And Miami with a smaller lineup on the floor, not able to handle the big freshman. Clayton at the line, one of two tonight, now one of three. As that one came off the hands kind of funny and was long. 50% free throw shooter. He's going to be an interesting player to watch mm -hmm. through his development. He's got the size. He's got the stroke. I mean, he hasn't shot the ball excessively well from the free throw line, but already you can tell he does a lot of good things really well. Two of four from the line tonight for his two points, and the lead back to 29 for the Bobcats, and a reach-in foul called on Mark Sears. Not much of a reach there. May have got him with the body. And for Sears, that is his third, and the team's eighth against the Bobcats, and Makai Larry to the free throw line. And I think we're setting ourselves up for a free throw fest here over the last 12.02. Yeah, both teams in the bonus, as you mentioned, 12 minutes to go. And uh, right now it's going to be, yeah, free throw shooting contest, <laughs> I think. Especially the way the whistles are blowing here in the second half. Miami with eight team fouls and the Bobcats with eight team fouls. Larry makes the first. He'll get the bonus here. Larry now with eight points, a chance to go ahead of uh, Grant for the team lead. He makes this free throw. And he makes them both, so he has nine, and Dede Grant with eight. And the Red Hawks trail by 27 here with 12 minutes to go. Tommy Schmock across the timeline. Sears out of the game right now with those three fouls. Gets it to Vanderplas, who, after scoring 20 points in the first half, has been somewhat quiet. They go down low to Clayton. Back to Brown. He'll tee up the three that is off the line. Oh, banks it in. That was well left, but he, he didn't call it, but it still counts. Miles Brown gets the triple. He's got eight in the game. And, and a steal, the steal by yep. Brown. Yep. And gets it to Towns. And that ball is tapped away by Delonte Brown. And ahead it goes to Isaiah Coleman Lance. Thought about a three. Gives it off to Larry. Larry Miles on him, takes him to the basket, puts it off the glass, too strong, rebound tapped out, and Kamari Williams chases it down for Miami. Left side, Dede Grant, left corner, Delonte Brown fakes, now fires, and misses the three, Schmock with the rebound. And Vanderplas, after Brown, after Dede Grant tapped it away, gets it to Schmock, and now Clayton, and there's Brown, crosses to the top of the key, leaves it for Schmock, now in the paint, Towns with a two-handed slam. Four in the game for Sam Towns, and the lead is back to 32 for the Ohio Bobcats. Timeout. Teams under their belt. They were losses on the road at Kentucky, on the road at LSU. Those are tough places to play, so that's prepared them for their max schedule already, and you can see the results. So if they do make a run, it's going to be a tough out once they get to the tournament. Another steal by the Bobcats as ahead it goes to Sam Towns. Out front, Vanderplas to the right side. Schmock, wide open. Triple is off the mark. Brown, though, with the long rebound for the Bobcats, and they'll reset with ten and a half minutes to go. Schmock against Precious Aya, who has five. Vanderplas fakes, gets it back to Schmock straight away. This one rattles out, and Kamari Williams with the rebound for Miami. 
Ajay White back out there for the Red Hawks. Has the ball, throws it to Makai Larry. Behind the back dribble, the, gets in amongst the tall trees and misses the shot. Towns with the rebound for Ohio. Yeah, really nice move that time by McKay, Makai Larry. Just couldn't get the, uh, the shot to fall. And again, Miami not, not on the offensive boards and an easy defensive rebound for Ohio. This is Brown on the left, right side. Miles steps back. 15-footer is off the mark, and Day-Day Grant with the rebound going the other way for Miami. And this is another indication why Miami hasn't gotten any fast break points. Ohio does such a good job getting back defensively. IJ White takes the deflected pass on the left side, gets it out to Larry. 15 to shoot for Miami. Aya sets the screen as Clayton picks him up to the right side. Kamari Williams for three. It is good. Kamari Williams knocks down a triple off the right side. He has seven in the game. Great rhythm jumper that time by Williams, and part of it was the pass. A perfect pass right into the shooting pocket. Didn't have to move, just caught the ball, lifted it into his shot. All in one motion and was able to hit it. Bobcats obviously have a lot of pieces, and if they stay healthy, that's going to be a key for Ohio going down the stretch in this MAC race. Everybody's going to be playing basically an NBA schedule as Clayton off the right side. And tough to stay healthy. Uh, that with that many games in such a short time and that's going to be key for the Bobcats as they look uh, to make not only a MAC tournament run but also an NCAA tournament run. Day Day yeah. Grant out front. Yeah, there's the MAC is so even sometimes it's you know you're you're going to run into some difficult nights and if they can overcome some of that uh, even when they think the shots aren't falling their defense is so good that's what travels right. Just a just a great example of great defense there by Vanderplas. Blocked the shot, then went in the corner and got it. Schmock, straightaway three is good. Tommy Schmock finally knocks one down. He's 40% from out there, and that one is good for a 32-point advantage and a foul here. Brown will get the foul for Ohio, and Miles Brown gets his second. We'll walk the other way, and Dade Grant will go to the free throw line. Jason Carter and Ben Roderick back into the game, and we have... A timeout here at Mullet Hall. 8.21 to go in the contest. And the Bobcats continue with the big lead. Third Illinois Bowling Green with an early 12-8 lead over the Huskies. And Akron defeated Western Michigan 74-73. Yeah, Toledo, we've seen them. We know how good they are. But I don't sleep on Buffalo yet yeah, either. Yeah. Uh, with their the way as deep as they are in their roster, they can make a run as well. Danny Grant comes up empty at the free throw line. Bobcats with the rebound. Jason Carter has it out top to Schmock. He'll try a deep three off the right side and back-to-back -back triples for the senior out of Cleveland, Ohio. And the lead is 35 at 78-43. Yeah, we knew he could shoot. Just took him a little bit to get warmed up. And as you said, he's hit his last two from deep, the transfer from Finley. Precious Iowa with the basketball. Dribbles with it, hands it off to Maj White. Working around to the top of the key, penetrating the lane. He's going to hang off the glass, is short with the shot, and the rebound saved in bounds and picked up by A.J. Clayton for the Bobcats. Good hustle there by Clayton as he'll give it off to Schmock on the right side. Seven and a half minutes to go, and Jeff Bowles orchestrating the offense right now as Schmock penetrating. Mar Avance on him defensively, knocked away by Kamari Williams, but into the hands of Roderick, and he throws it right into the hands of Miami's precious Aya. Yeah, now Miami needs to get it up, and again, even on a play like that, Bobcats don't make it easy for Miami to get out of their own end. Mar Avance left wing, triple is good, and the freshman from Indianapolis on the board with his first three of his career at Miami. Yeah, and hopefully that's a, uh, a builder of momentum for him. He has struggled a little bit with shooting the basketball, and uh, as his minutes start to grow, though, you can see he does have a really good, good lift and shot. Schmock on the right side, 15 to shoot against Dave Hans. Throws it to the left side. Clayton with the quick trigger three is off the mark. Rebound tapped out. Precious Aya has it, and he is found by Tommy Schmock. That is his second and the team's tenth. And when we come back, Precious Aya will be at the line shooting two for the Miami. I have to let you go. I can't afford more records. I'm sorry. Is this for sale? Hey, don't give that up. State Farm has race that fit your... Be able to beat them. That's going to be a really good game on Friday in Athens when uh, Toledo comes to town to take on Ohio. And and uh, you can see there, that, you know, just one loss between the two of them. And uh, that's that's going to be an – should be an entertaining basketball game this Friday. Yeah, and Toledo is rolling in their game, as I mentioned before, as uh, they have Ball State up at the 
Savage Arena, and they're leading 79-54 up there. One of two from the line for Aya. He has five points in the game. Miles Brown left side gets it to Roderick. Picks up the dribble, gets it to Schmack out front. Now back to Roderick. He'll tee up a deep three. That looks good, but it's long. And the rebound out to Kamari Williams for Miami. And quickly ahead to Mar A. Vance. Leaves it for Kamari Williams. He fakes, tries to leave it for Aya, who wasn't looking for the basketball. And the rebound back to the Bobcats. And down low, they go to Clayton. Lost the basketball out of bounds. Turnover goes to Miami, as that is actually Colin Granger in the game. Swanee, Georgia, sophomore. As Sam Towns will come in and get Roderick as Jeff Bowles using as much of the bench as he can here in this one with it in hand, 78-47 with 6.05 to go. Yeah, no starters left on the floor right now for Ohio. Miles Brown, the lone starter out there. Yep. Isaiah White out front gives it to Aya. Granger comes out to pick him up, hands it off to Day-Day Grant. To the right corner, there is Kamari Williams for three. That was down and comes back out. And the rebound out to Schmack for the Bobcats. 5.43 to go, and Red Hawks would very much like probably the clock just to continue running in this ball game at this point. I know the Bobcats would as Schmack throws it to the corner. Has to be chased down by Brown with 10 to shoot. Maje White on him defensively. Granger sets the screen for him, and that's an illegal screen set by Granger. Yeah, he was moving a little bit, but also the dribbler kind of left him out to dry that time, not getting up close enough to draw the, def the defender into the into the screen. You see it here is again, just moves up in there. And although looking at it on video, I'm not sure it wasn't a pretty good screen. It was solid. I'll give it that was one. solid, I didn't tell you that. Yeah, and if you're Miami, this is a situation where you don't want to get any bad habits. Right. Yeah, you're behind, uh, but you still want to run your stuff. And and as a as a guy who maybe doesn't have, get a lot of playing time, this is an opportunity for you to show the coaches what you can do. Luca Eller finds Day Day Grant left corner three is long. Eller with the rebound out top to Maje White back to Kamari Williams. Kamari Williams on the dribble back to White out front 14 to shoot. Dribbles to the left side at the elbow hits Eller 18 footer is good for Luca Eller. He knocks down the jumper, averaging a point and a half in a game, and he's going to see some time in this one, and he gets his first two of the night. Full court pressure here, 2-2-1 two, two, zone press, and the Bobcats get it across the timeline to Sam Towns. Right corner, this is Clayton with the basketball. Back out front to Miles Brown with four and a half minutes to go. And it's just Schmock right side, three threes here in the second half. In the last couple of minutes for Schmack, 81-49, Bobcats, 420 to go. Yeah, he missed his first two in this half, but he's hit his last three, and uh, they've all looked really good. He's a he is a fantastic shooter. Quick trigger, as a matter of fact, and over the back is Kamari Williams committing a foul on the rebound. His first, team's ninth, and we walk to the other end, and it'll be one and one for the Bobcats with 409 to go. Yeah, we talked about some players having an opportunity maybe to show in game conditions what they can do. And you look out there at Miami, Mar Avance is one that you think of that has, has looked good. He hit that big three earlier, and I think Luca Eller is another one of those who can maybe earn a little bit of playing time down the stretch with good performances in situations like this. A.J. Clayton at the line. He knocks it down. Three of five from the line for the big man. He's got another one coming up here. Bobcats moving to 14 and 2 on the season, 5 and 0 in conference play, and that one rattles out on Clayton. A rebound to Day Day Grant, and this is Kamari Williams feeding Maje White right corner hits the triple for the Red Hawks. Maje White, he's got five all here in the second half for Miami. Yeah, Maje White is capable of hitting that on a consistent basis. He has a tendency to kind of let some of the other guys handle the offense, but he he can be a really good shooter when given the opportunity. Schmack throws it down to Granger. He's going to go to work on Luca Eller. Offensive foul. Lower the left shoulder. That is his second. And we have an under four timeout. 341 to go in the basketball game. Bobcats in front by 30. Ever wonder what everyone's doing on their phones? They're banking. We're banking. The game for the Bobcats during that timeout. Luca Eller out in front to Day Day Grant. Left side to Mar Avance. Mar Avance top of the key. Backing it out. It's a today day Grant on the left side, 17 to shoot. Grant putting it on the floor, getting into the paint to Avance right side, steps out, 
Fires a deep three. There's off the mark. Luca Eller taps the rebound to Kamari Williams to Mai J. White to Dade Grant. Deep three by Grant is good. Dade Grant in double digits. He's got 11 in the game. Yep. Give him, yeah, 11 in the game. Sorry. Yeah, that was a good look for Dade Grant and uh, something he can build off of. Luke Frazier with the basketball now for the Bobcats. A high school teammate of Luca Eller, and they had a fantastic uh, senior season there up there at Lake Catholic. That'll be a charging call against the Bobcats and John Tenowitz, Tenerowitz, Tenerowitz, excuse me. Tenerowitz, the senior out of Cleveland, Ohio, gets the foul as Luca Eller was there to take the charge. Yeah, Frazier, Frazier started at the University of Dayton, didn't yeah. play a lot his freshman year, transferred over to Ohio, and uh, so he and Eller catching up a little bit, I'm sure. During oh, the yeah. Game. 2.48 to go, and Maj White lost the handle, had to chase it down. Gives it off to Day Day Grant. Working at the left wing, stepping back, firing the triple. It is off the mark, and the rebound out to Sam Towns for the Bobcats with two and a half minutes to go in this one. And you talked about some of the Miami players wanting to show their stuff as Towns misses that three. Same can be said for the bench yeah. players that are out there now for Ohio. Again, an opportunity to maybe earn some playing time later in the season here. Mar Avant stepping through, but a foul called before the shot. And it's going to be on Josh McDaniel. That'll be his first. And Avance will go to the free throw line with 2.11 to go. You see the reach in across the arms there by McDaniel. Hey Vance, first chance from the charity stripe this season in his career at Miami. Puts it up and puts it in. And into the game for Miami, Will Stevens. Walk on junior out of Chicago. Replaces Day Day Grant for the final 2 11. This has been all over, but the shouting since about halftime as Ben Vanderplas had a 20 point first half against the Red Hawks and then. Mark Sears took over in the second half along with Jason Carter. 82-57 and a foul. Stevens commits the foul for Miami, his first. Team's 10th and the Bobcats to the free throw line for two chances. It'll be in the form of Luke Frazier, that sophomore out of Mentor, Ohio. Yeah, Vanderplas ends with 23 points, as you mentioned. Probably in a more competitive game would have had an opportunity. Easily had his career high. Yep. Yep. Free throw by Frazier is no good. 2.03 to go. Lefty fires and misses them both. And Towns with the rebound, though, for Ohio. Had it stripped away as Maje White got a hand on it and knocked it into the hands of Luca Eller. Mar Vance driving, feeding left side. Maje White is open for the three. It is off the mark. And Granger with the rebound for Ohio. Gives it off to Frazier. A minute 44 to go. Frazier around the screen. Backdoor cut to the basket. McDaniel to the left corner it goes. Tenerowitz throws it down to Granger. And back it goes to Tenerowitz. Mar Vance with a big block, but also got him with the body. Avance first, and Tenerowitz will go to the free throw line for two chances. Yeah, that's one of those you get the ball up top, but there you see he already had made contact with him as he went up in the air and uh, not allowing any easy baskets, though. 90 seconds to go in this one. Both these teams back in action on Saturday as Tenerowitz hits the free throw. Actually, Ohio plays that Friday game. Yeah, Friday. They play yep. Friday against Toledo, excuse me. Kenyon, or Jackson Kenyon into the game for Miami. The other walk-on for the Red Hawks. And as as Maj White goes out. Sorry, Steve. As you mentioned, it, you know, it's going to get kind of frenetic here in the next month or so where you're going to be seeing games played on nights you're not used to trying to catch up some of those games that were lost earlier in the season. And so, between TV, Miami's had yep. their Akron series moved to, to basically a home-and-home home in February. First weekend of February, Friday night at Athens, and then Sunday back here in Oxford. Yeah, again, it's kind of different nights. Maybe maybe kind of some of the, the schedule you're used to in the non-conference portion, but it's going to carry over into the conference play as we've already seen some of those rescheduled games like you mentioned. Tenerowitz commits a foul, and Will Stevens will be at the free throw line for Miami. He's one of four from the line this season. 
That one rattles out on him. A minute 20 to go. But, yeah, it's going to get very hectic for a lot of teams here over the next couple of weeks. Our next broadcast here in Oxford will come your way tomorrow night at 7 o'clock as the Miami women's team, after a win last night uh, against the Ohio Bobcats, will be back in action on Wednesday night at 7 o'clock against uh, Northern Illinois. And myself and Carol Smith will have the call for you on that game. Across the timeline comes Frazier. Hands it out to Tenerowitz with a minute eight to go. Left side. Daniel fires the three. It is off the mark, and Will Stevens with the rebound. Pushes it down the floor to the right side. Elder sets the screen for him. He throws it out top, and Towns steps in and gets the steal. Towns against Williams. Walk with a basketball, but they're going to get a foul on Kamari Williams. Kamari Williams, his second. And Sam Towns to the free throw line for two chances. Yeah, he was working, trying to get in front of him, and uh, just a little bit too much body, I guess, in the official's opinion there, and he and he blows a whistle for the foul. Towns to the free throw line for the first time tonight. Misses that one. 51.7 seconds to go. Miami back to 500 on the season after this game. Eight and eight, two and three in conference play. We got Northern Illinois coming up at Ball State. Following Tuesday, they've got to get some answers. As the second one by Towns is good. He's got five in the game. Mar Avans works around the screen, and we'll have a foul away from the ball that will go against McDaniel. That'll be his second. And Miami to the free throw line with 43.6 seconds to go. And it'll be Mar Avans to the free throw line for two chances. And he connects three for three from the line, six points in the ball game. What? Yeah, Avance has has really brought a little bit of an energy to the game since he's been in, and uh, he hit that one three and now four free throws, and has also played pretty good. He turned the ball over on his first touch. Since then, though, he's he's really settled in. Frazier across the timeline, 23 seconds on the shot clock, drives and looks for Granger, missed him inside, gets it out to Towns. Towns works on Will Stevens, and a whistle and a foul on Will Stevens is his second, and that'll send Towns back to the free throw line for two more. 27.5 seconds to go. Clearly the guys in the stripes do not have dinner reservations anywhere. 8.48 to go. 37th foul called tonight. Second free throw on the way. This one is good for Towns. He's two for four. 86-60. 26-point lead for Ohio. 22 seconds to go. Avance hits another three. Puts him in double digits with 10 points in the game. Yeah, and as we mentioned, maybe, maybe making a statement here for additional playing time. And uh, he's gotten a little bit as the season has progressed, but a, a really good uh, performance uh, maybe lost in, a, in an otherwise uh, one-sided affair. Frazier will dribble it out, and that will do it here tonight as the Bobcats come in and just absolutely throttle the Miami Redhawks. Final score, 86-63. It was never a question uh, by about the five-minute mark in. As the